And at the same time, another major headline today, the governor of Texas says he is completely reopening one of the largest states in the nation after nearly a year of shutdowns. Shortly after that announcement, the Mississippi governor following suit. Effective next week, Texas businesses can reopen at 100% capacity and statewide mask mandates will expire. Texas was once a hotspot for COVID cases. In January, the state recorded more than 23,000 cases. That's the most since the start of the pandemic. And while cases are significantly down, health officials are still reporting about 7,000 new cases a day, and that number has been climbing in the recent week as well. News Nation correspondent Marky Martin is live for us in Dallas tonight with the very latest on today's announcement. Good evening, Marky. Yeah, Marnie, talk about an announcement. That news breaking about 2 o'clock this afternoon from Governor Greg Abbott. So after nearly a year in place, the state of Texas will be lifting the statewide mask mandate. Not only that, but also reopening the economy back up to 100%. You know, we've been ebbing and flowing depending on hospital capacity here. And as you just mentioned, all of this taking place next Wednesday. So we're looking at Wednesday, March 10th for this to take place. Uh, Texas is the largest state, but not the only state. We are now joining North Dakota, Montana, and Iowa in this. The governor taking to the lectern this afternoon in Lubbock, Texas, to make this announcement. And, you know, yesterday he, um, he sent out this tweet that alluded to big, exciting news happening today. And many speculated that this could be what it was. Well, now we officially know state mask mandate will be lifted and the economy is reopening. And I want to first play that sound for you here from his announcement today. Here it is. Effective next Wednesday. All businesses of any type are allowed to open 100%. That includes any type of entity in Texas. Also, I am ending the statewide mask mandate. Now, in terms of numbers, Texas hitting its lowest positivity rate that we've had in four months, just under 9% today. We haven't seen it this low since October. However, just like the rest of the country, cases are still on the rise here. But Governor Abbott went on to say that today's announcement should not be seen as permission to abandon these safe practices that we have had in play for the past year, but rather to be a reminder that each person has a role in protecting himself or herself and also protecting other people. But the governor is saying it's time that the government stop telling people and also businesses how they should operate on a day-to-day -day basis. And here are some other reasons that the governor today said it is time to make these decisions. And to be clear, COVID has not, like, suddenly disappeared. COVID still exists in Texas, in the United States, and across the globe. But it is clear from the recoveries, from the vaccinations, from the reduced hospitalizations, and from the safe practices that Texans are using, that state mandates are no longer needed. Again, Texas is now the largest state to do this, but not the only, and all of it takes place next Wednesday, March 10th. It will be interesting and fascinating to see how Texans uh, follow through with this. You know, will a lot of people ditch the mask or will people continue to live in, in really the status quo that has been the pandemic, especially when you're hearing a lot of uh, world health leaders, the president today saying this is not the time to let our guard down as the country, including Texas, is seeing a rise in cases. Rob, Marnie. And Mark, you do that exact point. I mean, where the numbers, when you look at a national perspective, are still fairly high. 70,000 new cases a day, 2,000 deaths. The head of the CDC said just days ago this was exactly what she did not want to see, states reopening too soon and abandoning these measures that have kept us safe now for, for several months. So what's been the general reaction to Texas doing the opposite of what the medical professionals have advised? 
Rob, great, great question. And really, as expected, it's been a, a mixed bag today, right? You're seeing the comments, the reaction roll in. Some people are irate and other people are really glad to see this happening. Also, keep in mind where we are, too. Right, Texas is, is very red, and despite what uh, world health leaders or elected officials have been saying about mask wearing should not be political, it has turned into a political issue. So I, I, I probably predict that an overwhelming uh, percentage or majority of Texas will probably like this decision. In fact, I took to Twitter today, just, just my own Twitter page, to put up a poll. Yay or nay, are you in favor of seeing this? And in just the past few hours, I've had about 2,000 people respond. 83% have written back, said that they are in favor of seeing this. The last thing I will say, too, is keep in mind, uh, businesses moving forward will still be allowed to, if they want to enforce these safe protocols, social distancing, the mask wearing, they are still allowed to do so. The governor is saying you can operate your business however you choose. Um, so moving forward, businesses um, and, and the people of Texas, it will be up to them to decide how to move forward. Rob, Marnie.